In 2007, China had the largest trade surplus in the world. And who was dead last? The United States of America. I've always liked business, I've always liked investments, I've always liked economics, but, but I'm a disaster, you know, if you ask me, uh, you know, what, what happens to a split atom or what happens to, to a cell within a body. So different people are, are wired different ways. A few years ago, I wrote an article for Fortune on sort of the parable of uh, Squandersville and, and, and Thriftsville, which was designed to simplify for people problems inherent in persistent and large trade imbalances. Economics tends to put people to sleep, and I thought maybe by creating a couple of islands with inhabitants of quite widely different <laughs> activities that, that it might get across a point that otherwise they get lost on. The thrust is that, that if you own a lot of property, an island in this case. You can trade it off to the things that you eat and consume every day, and you can do that for a long time, but eventually you run out of property, and then you have to work a whole lot harder to provide your own needs, but also to pay back for the debt you've incurred. Short-term actions have long-term consequences that sometimes people don't think about uh, in the short run. In the last few decades, but accentuating in the last six or eight years, this country has started uh, consuming considerably more than it produces. Because we're so rich, we can do it for a long time, and we can do it on a large scale, but we can't do it forever. Eventually, you run out. I mean, it's like a credit card. Uh, my credit's pretty good at the moment, and uh, if I want to go out and quit working and have no income coming in but keep spending, I can, first of all, sell off the assets I have, and then after that, I can start borrowing on my credit card, and if I've got a good reputation, I can do that for quite a while. But at some point, I max out, and uh, at that point, uh, I have to start producing a whole lot more than I consume in order to clean up my debts. In this country, we have seen imports increase from 5% of GDP to, what, 17% or so of GDP in the last 35 or so years, and yet we have 4.5% unemployment, and we have a very, very prosperous country. So it's a good thing for us. What is not good is the imbalance between imports and, and exports. The rest of the world is buying more and more of our goods at an even greater rate. We're buying more and more of theirs. That's not good. More trade overall is good as long as it's true trade. If it's pseudo trade, where we're buying but not selling, I do not think that's good over time.